Howdy there folks, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well. My name is Rabbit and welcome to episode number 16 of Let Semi Blindly Play Through Trag, aka Hard Edge on the PlayStation 1. In our last episode, we started making our way through new territory here on floor number 27 and we found ourselves in front of an impassable barrier. I don't even know if we can see what this section is. Oh my goodness, that is not what I meant to do. I'm not sure we can see what this area Michelle's standing in is called, but we can't go past it. So that's all you really need to know. I don't know why Michelle thought this would be a good idea. Maybe she's borrowing some thoughts from the terrorists that we are trying to deal with as well. I'm not really sure, but she proposed that in order to get through this wall, we find a bomb and what do you know? Burns is actually useful for something, and by useful, I mean contributing to this potentially catastrophic idea. So he created a bomb that we're now ready to set. So, you know, I don't know how this is gonna end, you guys, but let's blow this wall to smithereens, I suppose? Oh my gosh, what is this? Are we not gonna... You come over here. Okay. <laughs> what is this moment? <laughs> All right. See that, everyone? Yay! Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. You guys, let's just. Let's just go. Let's keep on keeping on. That's all I really have to say. We've got two new paths open to us now. I'm kind of curious what's over. Oh no, not you guys. Get out of my face. And if I could just walk around this thing, that'd be terrific. No need to go ahead and mess with things unnecessarily. This might be heading where we need to go, but let's just head into this first. It doesn't seem like it's going to. What the heck? I hear some feet coming for me here in storeroom B. <gasps> Maybe we'll find one of those keys. Come on, sir. Can you go a little faster? I don't have all day to wait for you. And can I have some HP? That'd be great. No? Okay. Well, Michelle, why? I was trying to look at the stuff. Hey, hey now. Wow. Talk about getting your butt whooped. Well, I guess I did want some HP, but I feel like I came out even in that exchange. Oh, goodness gracious. Unless this guy wants to be nice to me. Let's try this again, you guys. I'm not trying to start off this way with a bunch of L's to my name. Okay, actually, that's not super bad. A, a little bit of a time investment I did not want to put into it, but whatever. It's a large machine tool. I don't know what that means, but okay. I have a feeling I need to get rid of this. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Whew, a little too close for comfort there, but we made it, friends, we made it. Parts from machines put away by category. I wanna see what's in the barrel. Or I guess it's not really a barrel, is it? It's one of those, I don't even know what you call them. They're like metal containers, but usually they have like toxic chemicals and stuff in them. Containers with no longer anything in them. Huh, that's a weird way of phrasing that. Containers with no longer anything in them? I would just say containers with nothing in them. That's very, very strange. Ah! Oh, that was a little too close for comfort, you guys. Ooh, I have a feeling this is what I'm supposed to be. Oh, the valve! The valve! You guys, the valve! We found it! Oh my gosh! I know, I'm like so excited about this stupid freaking valve. I've been looking for this since that... I, that was one of the first floors we explored, wasn't it? It was Michelle's floor where we found Rachel. Yeah, the power handle. Oh goodness, I'm calling it a valve. It's a valve handle. Oh, I'm so excited. So I found a first aid pill, great. A few dirty boxes. All right, well we won't go through it. I've got what I'm looking for. It looks like a half finished machine. Okay. Can I inspect it from this side? Guys, I'm way too excited about this. Parts for machines put away by category. Is there really nothing else in this room except for the power handle, I think is what the game called it? It's looking that way. I'm gonna just try this other side and then we know where to go. There's something inside. Oh, a diary of a maintenance division staff. Okay, month, November, date the 13th. I've made a terrible mistake. 
I think I accidentally threw the disengagement plug in the trash. If this gets out in the division, I'll be fired. What'll happen to my wife and kids? I have to find that plug somehow. Oh crap, there was a second page to that, my bad. First aid kit, we'll go back and look at it. Some sorted tools. Oh crap, I did not actually mean to do that. Y'all, I'll get it together eventually. Info? What was it even called? Admin log. Oh, this is the disengagement room. Okay, so I have to find that plug somehow. So, November the 14th. The garbage incinerator is in the basement of the building. The underground level is listed as a classified area and so is off limits to us. It won't be easy for someone from another department to get an entry permit, but I've got to find some way in. If the disengagement plug is anywhere, it has to be in the incineration area. I'm planning to go in tomorrow night. Oh, how could this possibly go wrong? So the 15th of November. I've managed to get down to the basement, which is built like an elaborate trap. On top of that, I saw some guys down there who didn't look as though they worked for the company, all dressed in military gear. Who the hell are they? I gave up midway on their account, but I've got to get to the incineration area some or tomorrow night. I'll go down through a trash chute. Okay. Very interesting. Dang. And there was no second page to this, right? I didn't think so. I'm just making sure, since I got a little trigger happy there. Okay, so we know one of them is going to be in the basement, and we've got a valve that should take us somewhere. So found a first A tube, bottles of paint. I don't know then if we should really eat medication that we found just nestled cozily between some buckets of paint. That doesn't sound like a good idea to me, but whatever. So there are various cans of spray, but they're empty. Okay. Nothing then to see. Can I just like swap? Oh no, I can't. That's gonna be the best I can do. Okay, well we got a valve handle, which I am pumped about. We've got one other door to check out here on this floor. Then, oh come on. And then you guys know where we need to go. I'm so excited. I wonder if that's how we're going to ultimately get down there to begin with. Also, why, why the heck? was this wall blocked to begin with? Like, what is that all about? I'm not too sure. Like, who erected that? Those, what is this room? Those guys that were there? So information office. Unless someone's in here, like, why would someone have put up a barrier here? That is quite bizarre, but all right, let's start making our way through. Please don't go outside, Michelle. I'm spamming, let's see what we can see. Apparently nothing on that wall. But this one says, it says on the monitor, emergency code issued, operation terminated. I guess I can't use it. Okay, I don't know what I'm even looking at here. That's all right, there's plenty else to see. Those look like button, oh baby, I see that device right over there. I'd like to check these out first though. Access terminal number four. Oh no, this is, for the incineration room. We saw the warning sign about that. All right, information retrieval system, operate? I guess so. Do you open this file? Okay. What is this? Machinery Gear Incorporated Data Library. First experiment in space of the Garland system. I can't read what this text says at all. I'm like squinting to try the first test of a high output laser satellite to burn up the trash. I, that's as far as I could get. Maybe I could actually read it better than I thought. Wow, the carbon system satellite sure is powerful. I can see why they want to get control of that. You can aim at any place you want and destroy it. Control this and you control the world. Let's get going. I feel like I wasn't really following what was on this terminal, but I'm glad they elaborated, I suppose. I don't have time to waste here. If I don't hurry, the world will be in danger. Now what I need to figure out then is what do we do about these terminals? I haven't found a, any sort of guide or tutorial that tells me which order they need to be used in, but. Yeah, I guess we'll just have to come back eventually. It says on the monitor, emergency code issued, operation terminated. I guess I can't use it. Maybe we'll, I don't know. 
I have no idea. I am pretty sure I have not missed anything, but here we are, and I can't, well, I guess there are more term. how many are there? Terminal number three? No. Unless I'm, su am I supposed to be reading these? Hold on, let's start with terminal number one after I look at everything else. There's a network computer downloading, download complete. Oh, 1017. In this new form, as an electronic organism, I've infiltrated the data room above ground. According to the information I accessed there, there was once a research project conducted within Machinery Gear Incorporated that attempted to create an artificial brain, within which a human brain could be replicated. Oh, so basically Rachel, I think, is what this is referring to. Nevertheless, let us continue. If this project has been completed, I can transplant my own characteristics and memories into this artificial brain and be reborn. Oh, this might be Maverick's crazy buns writing this. And become a perfect human being or a perfect being, complete in all ways. But I know only of this project's existence. All other info was completely erased. Who on earth could have been working on this? There is no way to find out more by my own powers alone. Okay. Oh, rats. What are Miguel and his men doing? Oh, well, at least Miguel's actually referenced. That's really, really nice. <laughs> I didn't know who this douchebag was. But why would they introduce him before we have info on him? I don't even know. Anyway, let's keep going. They still haven't been able to locate any traces of the artificial brain, even after the trouble I went to in order to give them false identities as machinery gear employees. Perhaps they're nothing more than a straggling bunch of mercenaries after all. Thought they were a bit sharper than that, but looks as though I was mistaken. Oh my goodness, 11.13. Miguel and his goons are up to something behind my back. Their meeting place is near the skylight on the building's penthouse floor, out of the reach of my eyes. Must think of some way. What What on earth? Something, something alien inside me. No, is this, is it a virus? Laughter. I'm not actually gonna laugh, you know. I know that voice, Miguel. The pain, is this his deep? Darn him to hell. Thought we'd make it a little fancy at the end there. So general bulletin board inspection notice because of a malfunction in the ventilation of 27F, the wall duct will be inspected December 22nd p.m. Development Department, Organization, Machinery Gear Incorporated, 27th floor, Environment and Energy Research Section, 26th floor, Aerospace Technology Development Section, 25th floor, Information System Section. What is this? Like, why is this here? Manufacturer and administration section, and then the basement is arms technology development section, arms defenses, system development, human body and AI research, chemical research. So maybe it's just summarizing everything. So found unknown data entries, picked up an internal report. That is a, a lot of information. There are no new messages. There should be no need to access. What is this? It's the room's light switch. Press button. I guess so. It's way too dark to see a thing. I'll have to turn the lights back on. Oh, I'll switch to Alex here in just a second. I bet there's something to see. Can I look at these terminals? Access terminal number one. Yes? What is this gonna do? Access failed. Oh, so I am gonna have to do something before I can mess with any of these. That's what that main computer is saying. Oh. I think? Or my first guess might have been right that we'll have to come back here eventually. This is so wild. All right, let's switch to Alex. You know, I feel like Michelle hasn't really had anything special to her. We have to use Alex with night vision related rooms. Burns pushed something and Rachel was small enough to get through something else. Like but Alex, or Alex, Michelle hasn't really done anything. So I'm not sure what's up with that. Let's press the button and see I can't tell what anything is it's way too dark this is where night vision goggles come in useful use night vision okay so what am I going to gain from this is it there has to be a reason to turn this off you guys I I think anyway it says on the monitor yeah that's the same thing we've already been reading unless that computer that's kind of being, there's one that was glowing more, I feel like, than the others. Was it this one? Here on the corner? Alex, it is hella hard to see, even with his night vision. Access terminal six, I think that's the one. All right, I can get into this one. What does it say, undetected?
Uh, <laughs> look at me, you guys. Figuring stuff out. I'm good to go. I don't think I need anything else from this, right? That is weird. Can I turn the lights back on? I don't think I'll need to get back into that terminal. I don't think so. It's the room's light switch. Press the button. Actually, you know what? Whatever. We'll just leave it off because I don't know what's going to come from turning it on. Maybe it'll close the door. This is so weird. Well, never mind. I thought for sure. Oh, this will take us down to the incinerator room, I'm guessing. <laughs> okay, hey now. I was flexing and being really proud of myself. No need for you to rudely interrupt that. Can I have some HP though? Please, 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 please. Oh God, I don't really need, oh crap. Wrong What? Alex, how do we, okay, there we go. What is this? Ooh, maybe the other device? <gasps> Bing, bang, boom. And then I'm guessing the little handle for the valve on whatever floor Michelle and Rachel were originally on in my playthrough, that's where I'll get down to the actual incinerator room and find disengagement device number three. Fabulous. So there's nothing else in here. Is there even anything down here? Oh, it's just one little room. Let's take a quick second to look through it. And then we know where to go, which makes me excited. There's a pile of cardboard boxes. Okay. What about this? Anything special? I don't think so. Hold on, Alex. We'll just hug every single wall, inspect every single nook and cranny. Oh, it's a door. So it was locked from this side, unlocked door. What to wear? I don't really know where I am, to be honest. There are a couple of reports next to some tools. Oh my gosh, more reports. So accident report dated May 7th. An explosion of accidental nature took place on May 3rd in development research unit number three, basement level. Casualties, fatalities for researchers, seriously wounded Professor Vault. Oh, so he might have been wanting to transplant his mind or his brain or essence and being into an artificial brain so that he could live because he was fatally wounded or he wasn't fatally wounded but seriously wounded property damage included underground development research unit number three being completely gutted the cause of the accident is unknown i wonder if miguel had something to do with it notes fire was brought under control six hours after the onset of the accident professor vault has suffered limb and other losses corresponding to 37 percent of his body and sustained burns and injuries to 68 percent oh so he lost some body parts that sucks his condition is extremely serious his physiological functions are currently being maintained in a special life support system, but the immediate danger still cannot be underestimated. There are no signs of his regaining consciousness. Accident investigate committee. That's so sad. Actually, you know what that reminds me of? There was a guy that Andrew and I went to high school with that I think his degree was in chemistry and he worked in a lab and there was a big chemical explosion and it his whole face like he lost an eye like half of his hair one of his ears is gone it, it was so sad but yeah this is a very real risk of working with explosives or chemicals so oh that makes me feel kind of bad for professor vault it, it kind of at least makes you sympathize with him and the fact that he was a little bitter and wanting to be able to put his mind in some sort of artificial way or home i don't know that makes me sad anyhow there are work tools and some craft material and i did see that we picked up another bottle a yellow ex bottle i'm actually gonna wait and i'm gonna give this to michelle but we're gonna be the homie alex for a little while longer let's see i don't know where this kicks us out i don't remember what's on the other side of this oh you're joking Oh my goodness, that makes sense why that was locked then. Well, okay, I don't know whose floor this is though. This was Alex's floor, I'm pretty sure. Yeah? Yes, because the dormitory was here and there's the bar. Okay, so I need to go to floor 26. 
uh, five is where that room is that we should be able to use the handle for. So I will meet you guys there. I know this is a little bit of an early stopping point. I guess we could also go and put the disengagement. Oh no, I can't, because I can't get in. Oh, I can get in there, because Burns pushed the box. So let's go do that, just to have a little bit more time together. I know it's, it's always so nice to just lay low. Oh my god, I should have paid attention to what direction I need to go in. We are heading to the ra- Whoa. Alex, this is not- Guys, why do I suck at directions so much? I'm going the wrong way. Go this way, Alex. Go this way. We can do it, Alex. I know. The struggle's always real with me, you guys. You should see me <laughs> in some games. It's like such a freaking struggle that I can even make it from one area to another. But hey, you know, that's what the maps are for. So I'll give myself a little bit of slack. Alex, maybe you'll get some free HP. That'd be great, because I don't want to use my pills on you. I'm not going to lie. That sounds really bad. OK, you got to go. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, oh no. Takes those things a hell of a long time to die. And oh my goodness, my jam. I feel like I need. Did you already destroy that? That was pretty quick, Alex. Alrighty, friends, let's stop farting around. You know where, oh, get out of here. We gotta go and see. Do, 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 do. I don't feel comfortable. Oh, I guess we can just kill this thing. Oh dear, let's not, sir. I should be able to, yeah. All right, see ya, can I have some? HP, please. This game is wild in. Why? <laughs> Why are you making me struggle like this? It's probably just saying, like, rabbit, really? You have so many. <gasps> no way! I'm out of here. Gotta go. Not today, Satan. <laughs> you can just chill right there, and I've got some other stuff to take care of. So, no thank you. Bye bye. All right, we made it in one piece, I think. Mostly one piece. So yes, we found it. Let's put the second disengagement device in its appropriate slot. Woohoo! Use disengagement device number two. Perfect. So to stop the discharge, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I already know I gotta get the third one and that is what we are going to hopefully accomplish in episode number 17. So thank you as always for watching everyone. My name is Rabbit. This is my semi-blind run through Trag, aka Hard Edge on the PlayStation 1. And I eagerly look forward to seeing you in just a moment in our upcoming video. I'll probably just meet you guys outside of that room just to save you a minute or two of watching me run around to get there. I think I know exactly where it is, but you know, there's no need for all of us to go through that drudgery. I'll just see you guys there. So See ya in episode number 17 in just a moment.